Yankees waiting at Coney Island. Better head over. Gotta change it to Miles first, then I'll scope out the park. Incognito. I don't see any bad guys. Hmm. And should we take a closer look? Hello. I'm Quentin Beck, master illusionist. And this is Betsy, my business partner, and Cole, my technical advisor. And this... is the next generation of entertainment. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> Excellent! Cool. A brave young man, ready to experience the future firsthand. Is there anyone else out there with courage in their hearts? Come on, come all, and experience the future! There's a kiosk up ahead. Just keep moving. If you enjoy your experience, please tell your friends and feel free to visit one of the many mysteriums now open around the city. Our free trial ends soon. Thank you, Betsy. I'm sure you will. Customize your experience. As you look at these images, I want you to think about your future, your hopes, and your dreams. Ah, yes, I'm getting good data. And we're done. No way! <laughs> Enjoy the show. Don't worry, I'll be watching and listening. If at any time you begin to feel uncomfortable, just let us know. Enjoy your dream come true. All right, let's get it. Come <laughs> on. 
Whoa! How did I do that? Where did Lee go? Was that even real? Right now, analyze later. <laughs> We're having a bit of a malfunction. Obviously! I'm sorry, we cannot see you. Can you describe what is happening? I was rocking the club. Then a bunch of bad guys showed up. Now they're trying to rock me! Oh, dear. I hope you're not hurt. I can hold my own. But can't you just pull the plug or something? It's not that easy. But we are trying. to it. Fast. I think if you finish the song, you might get a break point in the program. On it. There. You should see an exit. Make your way to the... Okay. Time to go. Okay? Yeah. I am very sorry. We will do our best to find out what happened. But until then... Miles! <laughs> so, uh, what's up with that? Oh. <laughs> Uh, the future of entertainment still has some bugs to work out. Hi, Pete. <laughs> cool shirt. <laughs> cool shoes. Uh, really cool shoes. Cool everything, really. Hey, Miles. Thank you. Uh, guys, this is my best friend, Harry. Uh, he just got back from overseas, and he's starting up a new research foundation. You mean we're starting up a new research foundation? <laughs> hey, good to meet you. Uh, new job, huh? Still gonna have time for tutoring? We'll figure it out. Shall we? Uh, actually, that thing back there really messed my head up. Can we dip? Okay. Nice meeting you, Harry. Yeah, you too. You... you good? Yeah. Actually, uh... I'll catch up with you later. Hey, we should really check it on Miles. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, I will. Well, they seem nice. <laughs> Too bad they're gonna miss out on the best night of our lives, huh? <laughs> All right, here's the plan. Tonight is the greatest hits album of our childhood. And the top three singles, each of our favorite attractions. Move this. Welcome. All right, let's do this. Step right up. You have no idea who you're up against. <laughs> Good luck. 
You'll meet it. Now, Pete, you got this. Yeah, right, players? Fingers on the trigger, eyes on the target. And our returning champion keeps his crown. Hold up. <laughs> you guys want your prize? Oh, we're good. Thanks. I look good in a crown. Next on our top three, MJ Watson featuring the Speed Demon. <laughs> yes. Let's hit the other rides and games on the way. If we do enough of them, we can win something from the prize booth. I knew I read that somewhere. God, I hope the speed demon is as terrifying as I remember. No, you want to play for pro? Swish, swish, bish. Never knew you were so into basketball, Harry. With all this energy I've had lately, I'm into everything. Oh, there he is. Promise no real life talk, but I need one all things. MJ, you have to come by EMF. You can check out Pete's new office. Uh, I know I have to, but I've been so busy trying to impress Jonah. Her boss. Wait, wait. Jonah Jameson? Slimy shock jock Jonah is telling you what to do? Uh, only if I want to stay employed. Really, this could be a good one. Okay, you two go get declared soulmates. I'm gonna fly solo. See if I give off Casanova vibes. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> soulmates, huh? No pressure. What does this thing know about us? Maybe that you should move in with me? Or maybe that everything's too up in the air to think about it yet? Yeah, maybe. Whoa, that can't be right. What is this thing reading anyway? Our body temperature? <laughs> or our skin's pH? Highly doubt is that sophisticated. Over here, let's do this one next. Go karts, anyone? <laughs> With your driving? Hard pass. Come on, you two lovebirds. We've got more park to explore. doing here looks like he's a mechanic and saving the day <laughs> thanks for pulling me out man that could have been really bad maybe we should try the roller coaster <laughs> tombstone stereo this park really is a magnet for reformed supervillains. <laughs> yeah. Come on. We still have a little more memory lane to walk down. What was that? Somebody threw something. Oh. Guess we can't go through this way. Clean up aisle. This aisle. <laughs> Come on. Let's try and sit up front. After you. <laughs> Such a gentleman. You doing okay? I'm really nervous. Don't worry about it. What are the 
Chances the person Harry gave his prize to would be the single writer sitting next to him. I mean, it would be one heck of a meet cute. Should we tell her? Tell her what? What are you two whispering about up there? <laughs> Just reminding MJ to keep her hands inside the vehicle at all times. next our last showcase of the night the muscle up oh you know it baby never did hit that bell but the dream always kept me coming back i think this will be the year <laughs> Secret admirer want. <laughs> Who, Jonah? Nothing. Not a word on my article yet. Still can't believe he's your boss. Let's just find something to hit. Oh, the spectacular's closed? <sighs> Saved by the renovations. Two swings to test your strength. Ring the bell with a prize. Ready to ring that bell? Tonight. I make little Harry's dreams come true. Sorry, in a hurry. Muscle up. Muscle up. Muscle up. Muscle up. Muscle up. Muscle up. All right, all right. Excuse me. Looks like Hydra Head Hitter has room for a party of three. Come on, let's see which one of you is the mightiest. Isn't it crazy that in another universe I wouldn't be here with you guys? I'd just be gone. Dead, I guess, sir. Still in treatment. Well, luckily, we're in the best timeline then. No kidding. I just. This is a great night. I'm really happy we're all here. But I'm here. Oh no. Side effects of your treatment may include becoming an extreme cheese ball. Actually, that's a side effect of hanging out with you. Oh, burn! <laughs> I missed you, buddy.
night, huh? Perfect weather, smell of hot dogs, people laughing. Look, we Welcome. can't even see the stars Who's up, up there. First? Pete, come on. Nice. <laughs> Take it easy, Harry. Don't hurt yourself. The only thing that's gonna hurt is your Parker pride. Boys, boys. You're both pretty. Here. Harry, that was something else. <sighs> yeah, I have no idea how I did that. Okay, how about we do something more chill? Looks like the Ferris wheel line has died down some. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna let you two go ahead and be cute together. I'm gonna. Go see if I can win a couple more unicorns. <laughs> you look really happy. It's funny. Harry's getting a second chance, but I feel like I'm getting one, too. You two are gonna make a hell of a team. <laughs> the Bugle posted. Did Jonah put you on the front page? Oh, you're gonna be an editor! I should've brought champagne. Hunters and scorpions and explosions, oh my. Jonah posted the new guy story. Oh, MJ, uh, yeah. It already has 5,000 views. I've got to write a different kind of story. Win his trust, somehow. Hey, you've come up with something. You always do. Thanks. Sure. And, hey! If you need some help from your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I'd say we make a hell of a team, too. Even if I do forget the champagne. Next time. his phone. I've got my hands full with these hunters, and I don't see him anywhere. Our 
Ferris Wilpot is about to touch down. I'll make sure he's safe. And you stay safe, too! <laughs> you know I don't go anywhere without my Centaurian sidekick. Is that what you call your Sable Stingray? Still workshopping it. I'll let you know when I find Harry. <laughs> Tombstone was working. He's tough. So are these guys. Hunter, start your engines! And may the best yeah. spider win! I knew he'd be at the race back. Spider-Man or only want tombstone thanks for the tip yeah i'll keep looking for harry No joke! Tombstone, you just worry about breaking through that net. Never thought to see the day you defend me. You and me both, Lonnie. These guys his boss wants you dead. He's a hunter, and he's making super villains his prey. Guessing he's not open to a call for my parole officer about how I burned my life around. Since he's already killed Scorpion, probably not. Oh no. 
I'm sorry, Lonnie. I really do want to help you. We sure do. Spider-Man? I know, I know. But first, what are those things coming out of you? I think it's my treatment. <laughs> Dr. Connor said it's some kind of self-learning exosuit, but I had no idea it could... Wait. You know what this means, right? We both have superpowers. Just think about all the stuff we could do to heal the world! Sorry. I, uh... Guess I still gotta figure out how this thing works. Well... It's a real shame neither of us has a state-of-the-art science lab to run some tests. I'll go make sure the coast is clear. Meet you there? Give me a call when you're ready. Hey, 
I just saw what happened at Coney. What was that? Well, uh, remember my friend Harry? Yeah? That was him? How? Honestly, no idea. I think it's this treatment he's been... Oh, that's Harry. Gotta go. Hey, I cleared out the foundation. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> swing by. Man, how many times have you said that and meant it literally? My pleas for peace have been rejected by calls for violence. From, you know it, Spider-Man. An attack on what was once a destination for enjoyment now stands desecrated and defiled. Our cherished Coney Island was victim to a free-for-all brawl, destroying iconic attractions, history itself. Some of my fondest memories were at Coney Island. My father used to buy me the nickel pop and hot dog combo, and I, like any self-respecting American, would overindulge. Now, it's all been taken from me. To make matters worse, Spider-Man seems to have brought a new friend along for his night on the town. Just what this city needs. Another vigilante to take the law into their own hands. One person wasn't enough for you to corrupt Spider-Man. You need two acolytes to do your bidding. Add to the pile of unpleasantness, the hunters and reformed criminal Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone, and you have a recipe for the ruination of any normal person just trying to have a night out. These hunters are clearly after the Spider-Man and any of their accomplices. They're as much a blight on this city as the heroes protecting it. I'm sure old glory Mayor Grant loves what this does for tourism. See what else this thing can do. What are you doing? Science, buddy. I'm doing science. <laughs> so, Spider-Man, you told MJ, but not your best friend? To protect you. I, I wanted to. Right. Yeah, I get it. And that kid you're tutoring, he's the other one? Uh, a lot happened while you were in that tank. Trust me, I know. <laughs> nice and gentle. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. What the hell happened here? Um, we were, we were just, um, doing some experiments. Where's Dr. Connors? 
Uh, maybe he took the day off? No. He doesn't take days off. I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll call you later. I need a minute. Harry's got superpowers? This is all happening so fast. Wait, what's that? Hey, guys. I'm getting a strange spider bot signal. You got that too? Uh, Genki, you testing something? I was just about to call you guys. A bunch of them just. Check it out and let you know what I find. Looking sharp. Uploading info to the Spidey server. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for more. Send me the data when you find them. I'll try to track down who made them. Hey, MJ. Harry and I stayed up doing tests on his suit. And we may have had too much pizza. It was really nice. <laughs> Just like the good old days. So I gotta know, what's Harry's radioactive spider? I've never seen anything like this before. It's some kind of exosuit that completely eradicates any trace of his disease. Dr. Connors really outdid himself this time. That's incredible. And great timing, considering what happened at the park. Any leads on where they might have taken Tombstone? Not yet. But if I hear anything, you're my first call. Oh, you're the best. Yeah, I know. Okay, what's next? Maybe I should find more of Marco's mind fragments. Find out what's eating him. The reports coming in from Brooklyn are to be believed. These Spider-Men have grown more powerful than we feared. Magic portals, subway cars disappearing off the tracks, fire engines flying through the night sky, and the newer Spider-Man at the center. Webbing and property damage weren't enough. 
Now, we add mystical arts into the mix. Does their desire for destruction know no bounds? I almost feel sorry for this lost soul. Groomed for a life of criminality and degradation. Speaking of it seems Spider-Man was cohorting with notorious thief, the Black Cat. Their costumes must be cut from the same corrupt law. If their entanglement doesn't paint a clear enough picture of Spider-Man's intent, then here's a little story for you. The Spider-Men show up, and the group we now know as the Hunters follow. Clearer now? These Spider-Men are magnets for malefactors. Now, the Black Cat seems to have vanished. Good riddance! If magic is indeed real, then we must hope upon hope that someone out there is using it for good and will erase the stain in our city known as the Spider-Men. May we go one day without another spider incident. Spiders, got something for you. Head to this location. Felicia? Hey, Felicia. Heard some chatter about the steel foundry in Williamsburg off a radio I swiped from those hunters. Sounds like tombstones there. He could use your help. Thanks. Glad you're all right. Did you make it to Paris in time? Yeah, I did. Figured I owed you one. Both of you. Even if the other Spider-Man couldn't be bothered to make an appearance. Uh, yeah, uh, about... You can the... save the explanation. We've both moved on. He's a good one, by the way. He really is. Well, thanks for the tip. I'm not sure I'd be able to find Tombstone in time without you. Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself. Those fashion school rejects won't be getting the drop on me again. Ta-ta, spiders. Miles, let me take this one. You're gonna miss your essay deadline. What if... If Lee's there, I'll take care of him. Spider-Man can wait. Miles can't. All right. Just keep in touch. Hope Felicia's lead was right. Gotta get to Tombstone before Craven crosses him off his list, too. Killer robots just roam the streets.
abandoned foundry, this place sure is active. Why is taking them so long? Extra precautions. Tombstone has proven challenging. Right. Stay ready. Hunt to live? Live to hunt. We need to clear these rooftops and find a way in. It's lousy with hunters. If it's all for me, I'm honored. Hey, finally finished with my dad. Still no clue where Dr. Connors is. I haven't seen Dad look this stressed in a while. We'll find Connors. Why don't you call MJ and ask her to go swing by his house? Yeah, good idea. I'll meet you back at the Foundation once I'm done here. What are you up to? Need a hand? In Williamsburg, at the old steel foundry. Sounds like they're holding Tombstone here. Sounds like a job for the Spider Pals. That is not what we're calling ourselves. Well, what do you and the other guy go by? I don't know. Spider-Men? Spider-Mans? That's... confusing. I should go. This place is crawling with hunters. So you do need help? No, do not come here. These people are deadly. Can't risk you getting hurt. Talk soon.